Hello dear students. Today I am going to discuss about how to study smart. That is really important. Like we have to manage out the time. We have to ensure that whatever the time that we are spending should be an effective time. So that is what the topic is going to be. How to study smart. I, Hero Trivedi. Who has been into this teaching field for over more than two and a half decades have seen the various changes in the generation like the study pattern, the distraction, the, the exam pattern, the syllabus changes uh, over years. So like but the consistent part that, that remains the same is like a pattern, is a like technique and the scientific techniques that you need to apply while you are doing studies so i am going to give you eight different tips in this video about how to study and how to improve upon your time management my tip number one is study in parts and pieces what does this mean it means that like you study you take up a book and you study from a book for around say 25 minutes and then you take a break of five minutes you do this repetition for around three times but at times when you grow up this advice may be good for the students who are in eighth or ninth but as you grow up and for the students who are in 11th and 12th this technique might not be an effective so what we require is you need to study till that extent that you don't get distracted but like keep on studying keep on studying till you don't get distracted maybe in terms of yawning or maybe in terms of you know your lack of concentration give your effort till that that time till you are not distracted this technique is called parts of chunks and pieces because once that level is reached you take a break and after that when you start studying your brain will start will start uh, assembling the things will start capturing the things in a more better way my tip number two is read a concept. Now, what is that? It is like, don't read a topic at a stretch. Right from the word go of a chapter to the end of the chapter, you think that I can read out the other topic. Don't do that. Instead of that, 20% of reading and 80% of revision is required. Create your own examples while reading. When you are reading a topic, say in physics, if you are studying motion, you need to create an example of motion. You need to think about that. So that's what it is important about that. 20% of reading and 80% of the concept is, is uh, the concept revision is a key for a success. The third tip over here is space repetition. Take a break, study a topic, take a break. Study another topic. Suppose you have started with uh, physics. Then after a certain time, you switch on to the chemistry or you switch on to the calculus and then you conceptualize those things you understand those things make sure that you are perfect with that and then on the next day when you come back to the topic whatever you have been doing suppose you are doing electricity then revise that electricity in a cafe so that will help you in recollecting those things in a better way and whatever the tips I am giving these are all scientifically proven tips Tip number four is making class notes. The writing is really, really important. When you write it down, the things will go for a longer period in your brain. You might have seen that whatever the things which are there, whether it's a banking, whether it's a laundry guy who is coming at your place, will always keep a hisab or he makes a card, he makes an entry whether it's a milkman or whether it's a anything, anything. So writing makes sure like it helps you to understand that you have written it down, you have noted it down and whatever the running lectures which you are taking from a teacher, even if you have missed out those topics, then ensure that in a break, after once that lecture is over, recollect whatever you have missed it out, make a note of it and then only you proceed further. So notes are real, real important for you. Tip number five it is teach like a teacher that's really important 
don't start learning like a student but teach like a teacher teaching is a tool when you teach somebody suppose you don't have anybody to teach keep your favorite toy something that uh, an object think that you are teaching that eklavia has learned keeping dronacharya as an idol and he made an idol of him and he had kept in front of him and he had learned from the uh, dronacharya so kind of that you need to have somebody you teach somebody teaching will prove like it is like it scientifically proved again i said that when you teach you will remember so that will be a very important aspect while learning processes is going on tip number 6 is known as s q 3 r technique three times r so what does that s stand for when you pick up a book and when you start with the chapter just go through the chapter go through the topics survey the chapter that is s stands for q stands for at the back of the excerpt chapter whatever the questions are there or whatever the in text questions are there go through the questions you will come to know what kind of questions are there so that is called q and 3 r 3 r r read recite and review stands for 3 r read and recite is like what i have said in the tip number 2 20% of reading 80% of revision recite and that is read and recite and review is something like the spaced repetition that i have talked about so that is going to be a very important tip tip number 7 is your time table time table is a very very important tool plan out your studies a week on the weekly basis on daily basis and on hourly basis when you space out of your time table it is good for you to understand it is good for you to gauge exactly what the target is there the brain will perceive if the thing will perceive in a better way if you have the time table in front of you and if it is there in your mind and the last tip which is very important for you is tip number 8 and that is known as sleep i limit the sleep now people ask like sir i am comfortable uh, learning at night or i am comfortable learning till in a day time there are the various personal traits which are there but ideally speaking the better sleep time is from 11 pm to 7 am you sleep in this time period and during examinations if you are having a very good night sleep you will be fresh in a paper the next day morning and it can really help you out so these are the eight tips which i wanted to discuss with you my dear student i hope this eight tips will help you in your planning out your studies in a better way in a good way subscribe i mean send this video to your friends subscribe it into the youtube channel for my videos of the timeless tips and keep forwarding this videos to your friends and relatives that might be helpful to in some way or other to other students and other other known people in your surrounding thank you have a great day stay blessed